Hey everyone, Destroyer here. I'm going to be reviewing the Cold Steel Kobun Tanto. And I'll be honest, at first glance I wasn't really sure this is what I wanted for my gear. Because for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I carry this horizontally across my chest rig when I'm out shooting. You know, never know when it's going to be handy to have a knife on you. And when I was looking at this, I thought, you know, this handle doesn't seem very ergonomic. It doesn't have some of the features that other knives have. For instance, the grip doesn't have the finger grooves cut into it. And the grip kind of looks plain. Just, you know, honestly, that's what my first impression was. But as I started to research more, you know, a lot of knives that I've found similar to this are going for around 60 70 plus dollars, and I'm honestly on a budget. I know it's a shocker, right? Who's going to, doesn't everyone drop, you know, 70 plus dollars on a knife? No, not everybody. And that, that's kind of what I was looking for myself, personally. I wanted a good quality knife that wasn't going to cost me an arm and a leg. And I think I paid about $36 for this. So, so far, it's been good. And in a minute here, I'll show you some of the torture testing I put it through, just to make sure that it would suit my needs. So, just to give you some quick info, this is a full tang blade, so nice thing is if you really needed to, you could smash someone in the head with this, and it would hurt, trust me. I've lightly thunked myself in the noggin with it and regretted it. And as far as the grip goes, the grip is actually really comfortable. It doesn't look like it would be, but I'm approaching this from the mindset of this is a good basic infantry knife. It's not going to be super fancy. It's going to be something that if I ever got into a situation where I actually needed to use this, it would be pretty dire and I would want something incredibly reliable that I could bet my life on. So here we are in the garage. This is where I'm going to be doing the testing. So as you can see, you are looking at the Kobun Tanto knife, obviously, resting on a box of computer paper. And here at my feet, we have a one inch thick textbook and a stack of cardboard that I have taped together using packing tape. All right, so here we go. Got textbook and on top of that, cardboard and we're gonna see how well this stabs ready one two three oh yikes look at that let me pull this off here man that thing went in deep went in to the book and oh wow now let's see stops at page <laughs> still going still got a tiny hole tiny hole tiny hole eh I'm not gonna count that so it stabbed through roughly, oh, what is this, an inch of cardboard and into roughly an eighth of an inch of a book. And my initial impressions of the knife were that it would not be as durable as I would have hoped. And after stabbing into that much cardboard, and paper I'm actually impressed it has good stabbing ability you gotta remember 
I'm stabbing into solid, compact, thin sheets of paper. It's going to be a lot stronger and more durable than human tissue, which is not as dense as this material. I am very impressed with Cold Steel. They make a great knife that is not going to break the bank, and I I'm impressed. This is, this is good quality. I definitely like it. I'm not going to worry at all now. Having tested that out, yeah, I would be happy to carry this on my chest rig, no problems. Would not be worried at all.